The first time she walked in, she was very hesitant, like shelled up. You can tell she's never had a home that made her feel safe. My fiance and I both looked at each other. We were like, are we sure? Like, she's not liking us. We're not really vibing. She was actually a part of a puppy mill and she was kept in pretty bad conditions. She had two litters of puppies before she was a year old. Really, it was probably before she was nine months old. After being forced to breed for the puppy mill, she was rescued. That rescue actually turned out to be a hoarding case. There was hundreds of dogs on that property, really in tight quarters and definitely not in the best living conditions. She would escape the house often to try to look for food and resources, obviously. Luckily, Ashley and her fiance adopted Valentine and did whatever they could to make her feel safe. I looked at her and I was like, this is it. This is our dog and we need to get her. And it was like definitely a gut instinct that it was meant to be. So at that point, we were her fourth home. It took her a while to just figure out what to do with herself. She didn't want to walk around her house. She really wanted to stay in the foyer of our home by the door. It was hard to kind of, to pull her in. We ended up doing it with food. She's very food motivated. And then she pretty much just stuck around her bed. I think she kind of made that like her safe space when she first came in. Good morning. Good morning, Tiny. The next morning, when I came downstairs, out came Valentine and all of her personality. A flip switched overnight, and I think she realized, I'm home. You could almost tell like a weight was lifted off of her. She's fun, bubbly, very playful. She definitely is very much still like a puppy. We like to say she's almost making up for lost time because she really wasn't able to be a puppy for the first year of her life. So everything is new to her. Everything is an adventure. <laughs> she also does a happy dance whenever we feed her. Where she literally hops backwards with her feet like a deer in the air. Her food happy dance is like my all time favorite because she's just such a food motivated dog. But cuddling is definitely her favorite thing. She likes to like nuzzle her little head right on you and just pass out. I think for my fiance and I, we always say she's like our first child because she's just so sweet and just brings so much joy to our day. So she's really just like this light, constant light that we're surrounded by and she just makes every day so much better. I give rescue a chance because it's a, it changes you and it changes the way that you view dog rescue in ways that you could never imagine. Have an open mind because we were so surprised by how much love Valentine gave to us that really like what we've done for her is nothing compared to how much she has given back to us. This pity was scared of everything until this happened. They spent two days trying to catch Cody. I don't know, like a dog that freaked out? It's a lot. I can't guarantee that it will be cool in a couple months. Like, I don't know. When they picked him up, Cody was so scared that he chewed through three leashes and refused to go into the crate that they had for him. As someone who works with dogs every day, we couldn't get this dog into a car. We were out there for, I think, two and a half hours. He was looking at me like, you couldn't get me into a car. And now I'm supposed to trust you with my life? John understood that it would take a lot of work, but then he realized something important to help Cody. I realized I didn't need to fix him. I needed him to trust me. So I have to prove myself to him before he does anything for me. What he does next is amazing. I took the pressure off fixing him and I was like, let's just hang out. Let's get out of this, this ISO room. Let's just go get some air, right? But you're gonna have to walk with me. It's about 50 feet to get outside. And I really don't care if it takes us four hours, but we're gonna walk outside because I promise you it's much more enjoyable outside than it is in here. So you give me 10 minutes outside, you spend the rest of the day back in your room. Slowly, Cody improved and became more comfortable. And John knew he was ready for his forever home. As soon as I started seeing people being able to be with him without me, I didn't need to be there. So now he's not always looking for me. No dogs leave here without multiple meet greets. For dogs like Cody, yeah, you can meet him. You're probably not gonna touch him. We're gonna walk around a park and you basically have to be cool with that. Cody had so many applications, one family wanted to do multiple meet and greets. And it was the family he's with now. It only takes one family to change a dog's life. 
once we met him from the beginning, like just seeing his eyes just like drew me in. And the kids just loved him because he was so calm, you know. And after we did the overnight, and then he calls me the next morning, like seven in the morning, he's like, hey, so I was thinking, like he came to say hi to me and then automatically he went right back with your daughter. So I knew he's yours. He was home. And we're, I looked at my wife, I was like, go, go, go. <laughs> he's obviously had, had a rough past, you know, and, it, and it's obviously very evident, you know, in the way he is. You know, John had told us this is probably going to be a forever thing. Just seeing him come out of his shell at times and doing normal dog things, those were huge wins for us, you know, because that's when we get emotional, like, dude, that's awesome, you know, and just when his tail wags, it's like we're on cloud nine. This dog was abandoned at a truck stop for five months, unable to be rescued. We discovered this large tan pit bull was stranded there at the truck stop. You know, a very kind and, and gentle dog, but also just wanted to be left, you know, by itself. So Danny started visiting JJ every day to gain his trust. But even so, he was a difficult dog to catch. In a situation like that, you keep your distance, you respect the dog, and you offer him treats. And initially, that did work with JJ. I was surprised how quickly he got so close to me. One day, I came back to do the normal thing, and he just wanted nothing to do with me. It was, it was confusing. As soon as he saw me, he would go in the opposite direction. They even tried trapping JJ. But attempts were unsuccessful. Eventually, they spotted an enclosed area nearby where Danny believed they could finally rescue JJ. Turns out in the back of the uh, truck stop were these large fenced-in areas. There were a lot of holes in the fencing. A lot of the fencing had, had, had fallen down. JJ had, at that point, started to warm up to me again. So that became our new meeting spot. He was a little concerned, but he just walked right up to me and I was just able to pet him like nothing had happened. He, he walked on the leash like he had done a million times before in a previous life. It was such a relief and was such a thrill. Soon after, JJ was in his forever home and given the new name, Ruger. I had reached out to a rescue that I had previously worked with and said, hey, we will foster this dog. They in turn contacted Danny and he again um, reached out to me. He brings me so much joy. And he brings so much joy to our family. Get him, Ruger. Get him, boy. Get him, Ruger. He's that dog that everybody loves. And the fact that he's willing after who knows what he went through. So just willing to love us and be so kind. And I hope that he knows that he'll be taken care of for the rest of his life. Again, I'm a foster failure <laughs> because there was no way I could let him go. He is just such a joy. I just hope that they can feel how much we love them and, and know that they are safe and they, they can be happy and they can be silly and yeah, I just, I hope that they know that. Subscribe if you love dogs as much as I do. Turn on notifications for more awesome stories like this. And hit that like button if you want me to keep telling these stories. Oh, and I put a link down in the description below for a story I know you'll love.